The way station is small, with a diameter of maybe 5,000 meters. I have no problem finding the broken skull, which turns out to be a typical off-world saloon. The kind of place where all the booze is watered down, the prices are tripled, and the waitresses all have fresh stitches on their foreheads. It's strangely quiet, though, and the dame behind the bar looks like she'd just as soon cut my throat as pour me a drink. So what do you have? Give me four fingers of rye whiskey. Neat. You know, we don't take American Express. Cash customers only. Thought the place looked familiar. I must have seen it in a Visa commercial. Ah, very amusing. What brought you here? Looking for some friends of mine who came here a while ago. A lot of people come and go here. I got a hundred dollar bill that's all dirty and crumpled. Did you toss it in the trash for me? Put your money where your mouth is, Rockefeller. Okay, money bags. One question. I'm here to meet someone. The chameleon sent me. Do you have the token? Let me check. No, I... Must be in my other overcoat. Look, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I mean, maybe you're one of us, and maybe you're just an idiot. Go find your token. If you come back here without it, don't plan on leaving. Did you forget something? The chameleon said something about using an old silver dollar as a token. What now, Murphy? Yeah, I've got a couple of old Susan B. Anthony silver dollars in my coin collection. They're pretty expensive, though I guess I do owe you something. Did you find what you were looking for? Yeah. It went through the wash, but I think it'll work. Well, let's see it. I haven't got all day. Okay. Okay. Go knock on that door and say, Jack's or better. The man you need to see is in there. I walk down a hall and look at the name tag on the door. Barrel Puff. Must be a charming guy. I call out the password and a gravelly grating voice calls loudly for me to come in. As I step into the back room, I'm blasted by an aromantic wave of cigar smoke, alcohol, fish, and body sweat. The combination almost knocks me out. The room is empty except for a bloated hog of a man who seems to be the source of all the foul odors. I ain't seen you here before. Who the hell are you? Hey, call me whatever you want, but don't call me late for the purification. You bluff a lot, don't you, Tex? I like that in a man.
You know, Mr. Puss, it's not only rude, but it's also illegal to point a Lester flame rod at a total stranger. Ha oh, ha, you're not a total stranger. I've been waiting for you for a while now. Though I thought you was gonna come up with that chameleon. So you're disappointed the chameleon isn't here, huh? Why? Was he your girlfriend? Hell, I oughta blow your head off right now. But I ain't gonna. I like watching you sweat. You know, I bet you do. Probably makes your own body odor less noticeable. Watch your mouth, boy, or I'll blow your damn head off! My boss told me that when you got here, I should take care of you. Now sit down! Well, great. I'd like a Mai Tai with two umbrellas and a nice plate of those cocktail weenies. I don't think so. I think you wanted me to slit your throat. But there ain't no sport in that. So I'm gonna give you a chance to beat the odds. <laughs> oh, I've beaten a few odds in my time. I'll guarantee you haven't beaten this. I call it the Ferrolette table. Three of them balls are hollow, and there's a spy drone in each one. They're little robotic arachnids with nasty stingers. <laughs> well, dare I ask what's in the fourth ball? Inside that one is part of a ticket to the moon child. I'll mix them around. Then you just have to pick the ball with the ticket and open it up. Do that four times, and I'll take you to the moon child. Sounds like the old shell game to me. Close enough. Here's the ball with the ticket. Let's play. Okay, pick a ball. Any ball. Finish up this lousy shell game and let's get on with it. Okay, pick a ball, any ball. Finish up this lousy show. Okay, pick a ball, any ball. Beginner's luck. Let's see how you do this time. Damn it! I guess I need to speed up the balls a little bit. Well, third time's the charm. For me. Finish up this lousy shell game and let's...
Finish up this lousy shell game and let's get on with it. Lucky today, aren't we? I can't wait to see a spy drone tear your head off. No one's gotten this far before, Murphy. It'd be a real shame if you screwed up now. Finish up this line. Finish up this line. Finish up this. Damn you, Murphy! I wanted to see you die! But we did make a deal. I'm taking a few people up to the moon child in a couple of hours. You can go with us. <clears throat> I have some business to take care of. Wait at the bar until we leave. Drinks are on me. Be sure to ask for the house special. It's my favorite. Sit down, brother. Have a drink. It's on the house. Thanks. Make it bourbon neat. So, when are we leaving? Oh, it won't be long now. The purification will be tomorrow at midnight. What is the purification? You don't know? The purification is the foundation of the Brotherhood. You're not really one of us, are you? I'm afraid you won't be coming with us. I shouldn't have to remind you, Murphy. Never underestimate a woman with an attitude. Damn you, Murphy! <clears throat> I have- Sit down, brother. Have a drink. It's on the house. Thanks. Make it bourbon neat. So, when are we leaving? Oh, it won't be long now. The purification will be tomorrow at midnight. Well, finally, the holy prophecies are coming true. By the way, Farrell told me to ask about the house special. Oh, really? Well, uh, Farrell's always been partial to the house special. There you go. Hmm. This ought to hit the spot. Are you gonna join me? Oh, no, it's a little strong for me. It's a man's drink. So, you're Tex Murphy. Well, we're gonna make your trip as comfortable as possible. <laughs> Nighty-night!